Okay, welcome to Biology Crash Course from 4 Chapter 7, Respiration. Now, first thing you need to know is about the difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So aerobic is basically the usual breathing that we have is like it's an aerobic respiration, so it basically requires an oxygen, it's like oxidation of glucose so with oxygen to produce all the energy we need, so the products is going to be carbon dioxide, water and energy. Well, it happens at both mitochondria in our lung and also in the cytoplasm of cell. And then afterward, the energy value, you know, is a lot more higher because that's how we breathe. We want to use the most efficient breathing technique. So that's why 2898 kilojoule is the amount of energy we produce through aerobic respiration. Now what is happening here is it is a complete oxidation when you are doing respiration, obviously. And so the formula is going to be C6H12O6 plus 6 h 2 2 6 co 2 h 2 and basically the energy. Yeah. Um, you see the difference between this is like aerobic respiration is for the usual breathing and aerobic respiration is when you suddenly need the um, you suddenly need to have a high amount of oxygen in just a short amount of time. It's like suddenly when you run, you need to kind of like boost up the amount of energy for just a short amount of time. You cannot afford to have don't have the energy. It's like when you're being chased by a tiger, you need to run very quick and in that case and aerobic respiration will happen. It will break down the glucose without using the oxygen because this process is fast and of course it does not require oxygen as mentioned but the side effect of this fast process is you know it produces only a little bit of energy even though you can produce a lot I mean even though you can produce very quick the energy they produce is a little bit but when you have a lot of very quick stack up together yep, there's quite some energy there but then the downside is you actually have the lactic acid to like limit yourself so when you're running for a marathon if you are running out of your breath this means that aerobic respiration is no longer happening instead anaerobic respiration took over where you just run and suddenly you run out of breath and like yeah anaerobic respiration took over and lactic acid is produced in all your muscle because like and the mitochondria are there, they just realize they need more energy, but you do not have the, the demand, that's what made, I mean the supply, that's what made the demand. So what do they do? And aerobic respiration, just produce the lactic acid. That's why lactic acid makes you feel sore and you feel tired. So in order to like, kind of like digest back all this lactic acid that is at your feet, what you do is you take in a deep breath and allow the complete oxidation to happen and digest back all this lactic acid and in yeast there will be ethanol which is basically something we drink so if we want to have ethanol we do not let the yeast to get sufficient supply of oxygen so let's talk about the similarities here um, basically they are both oxidation of glucose they both produce energy they both involve cellular respiration and they both are catalyzed by enzyme and yeah, basically, it's like most of it. Let's talk about the oxygen depth, which is related to the anaerobic respiration. And the oxygen depth is basically when you have a very low amount of oxygen, you kind of uh, go through the anaerobic respiration. Then, when you do anaerobic respiration, let the acid starts to stack up, so the muscle becomes very sore, and there's a lot of carbon dioxide there, and then. You have to breathe deeper again and you digest back all this lactic acid. That's going to be an essay question. So, 5 marks, less oxygen and aerobic expiration, lactic acid starts to come down, muscle becomes sore, you breathe deeper and you digest all the lactic acid again.